is a quick overview of a Pontiac Solstice. This car right now, between five and ten thousand dollars, depending on condition and miles. I don't think you could do much better than this for a sports car. This car has got style like crazy. Crazy formed panels. You see the curves on it. It's a really good looking little car. And it sits low, really low. Wide tires. Talk about driving a go-kart. That's what this is. Feels like you're sitting right on the street. So we're going to drive this around a little bit. Give you a couple views and uh, play with our new microphone a little bit. All right, folks, trying a new microphone here. This is our Pontiac Solstice we bought because we wanted a fun little car. We wanted a Roadster and we wanted something made in America. And this car has got so much style, so many cool lines. And this is our favorite little country road to drive down. Talk about car that's like a go-kart I mean this is it recommends 25 miles an hour you could double it and the car is not even trying I mean it's just oh it's like you're glued to the road and as you're sitting here you can see the form of the hood look behind you and see the humps and the back not any other car on the road like this car. It's very unique. GM spent $250 million developing this platform. And uh, due to the financial crisis of 2007, they ended up having to shut down Pontiac and Saturn. So it all kind of went to waste. So if you could find one of these cars, you want to grab one. Because they're just amazing. Just really amazingly fun and cheap right now. I mean, I think down the road these things might start appreciating value a bunch because there's not that many of them. So that's our favorite little road. And now we're gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna take this microphone and tape it to the back bumper and see if you could uh, get some good exhaust sounds. I mean, it's a four cylinder engine with just under 180 horsepower, so. It's not really about the exhaust note necessarily in this particular one. It's not been uh, tuned up, but it might be fun to try. We'll give it a shot. What do you think, Quinn? I think it's a good idea. It'll probably work. All right. All right. Give me third gear, please. Nice. Working on our shifting here. I'm going to turn in this little parking lot and uh, do a U-turn. All right. Second gear, please. Nice. All right. Okay, so we tried putting the mic by the exhaust. Got a lot of wind noise. Surprise, surprise. I hit it behind the bumper. I thought it might work, but it didn't. So anyways, that didn't work great. But still a great car. Like I said, they, there's less and less of these on the road every year. And you can pick them up right now. I think it's a sweet spot. They depreciate it down. You can pick one up for 5,000 bucks if you had to. This one was a little bit more. It was the first 1,000 car. Had a lot of Providence with it. A small model that looks just like it. And you know, it was never driven in the winter. Not a drop of, not a spot of rust on it. So, but there's a range of them out there. And I highly recommend them. What about you, Quinn? You re recommend this car? Yeah. Quinn likes it. Okay. Trying this new camera angle with our microphone. So anyways, there's a lot of cars you can buy out there if you're looking for a fun little car. This car is not practical. I don't think you could have this as your only car unless you're single, and even then, you can't really grocery shop in it. I mean, there's no room at all. I mean, right now with two people, I can't even get a bag of golf clubs in here. That's what they always say, right, Quinn? Hey, I gotta go play some golf with a bag of golf clubs in my sports car. 
quite honestly, I'm a grown person. I'm not going to spend all day chasing a little ball around grassy fields, am I right? <laughs> I got better things to do than that. So anyways, no, this couldn't be happier with this car, honestly. We looked at the Porsche Cayman. Porsche Cayman motor, man, that could have an IMS bearing issue. I could buy like four of these cars just to fix that blown motor on that Porsche. I mean, honestly, this car, you don't have that problem. So we've had this for a couple of months, bought it from the original owner, and we're just having a great time with it. It's just been a super, super fun car. I feel like I'm in a toy on the, you know, on the roads, legally flying around somehow. Flying around, driving around somehow. It's one of the last things I want to point about this car is it's got a unique feature. They only had it, I think, on the 06 and 07 models. It's the kid removal feature. So if your kid gets a little cranky, starts uh, needing his nap, well, you just push this button right here. No, 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 please, no! Oh, uh, that worked like a charm. So, anyways, it's a great little fun car. Great time to buy one, Pontiac Solstice.